am on the edge, about to fall off, and nobody knows. I'm a normal guy. You'll see me on the street, in the mosque, down the local shop. I blend in. I'm surrounded by friends, a loving family, a community. But no one addresses the elephant in the room. I could be your neighbour, your teacher, your sister. I'm hiding in plain sight behind a mask of sharam. It started socially, my friends and I having a flutter. An accumulator bet was the hook that caught me. I won, and I won big. The addiction gripped me so furiously that it took over my whole life. I gambled any time, any place. No one knew. At home, at the mosque, surrounded by love, by grief. And the sharam was always there, increasing with every bet and every lie I told. It weighed me down. It controlled me, forcing me to live two lives. I couldn't keep up with my addiction. I needed more money to feed the monster. The bets got bigger and so did the lies. There were fake investments, payday loans, borrowed money from friends and family. And when I hit rock bottom, I sold my car, my wife's jewellery and even my son's bike. When I couldn't access money from anywhere else and had nothing more to sell, I turned to criminal activity, stealing money from my family's business and committing fraud. I hurt so many people, I was harming myself too. The turning point in my story was when the police showed up at work and that was it, I was out in the open. Everyone knew. I felt an enormous sense of relief like a bird being released from a cage. But I lost my job, my wife, my home and my izzet. I knew I had to stop. Admitting to myself that I was a gambling addict hit me with such force that it hurt. I needed to stop. I reached out to my faith leader and discovered that talking is not a weakness. My religion has shown me how delicate the soul is and talking can make you stronger. I opened up to my friends, my family and members of the community. Eventually I found the Beacon Counselling Trust and with it professional help. It started with their free self-assessment tool. Answering a few questions helped me get the right support I needed. I went to group therapy and it was here I found non-judgmental people who understood and cared. We talked and talking is important for healing. Don't suffer in silence. Speak up and reach out. I'm in a good place now, getting my life back on track. I realise now that the more you suffer in isolation, the more destructive the addiction gets. But don't leave it too late like I did. Early intervention is key. Don't hide behind your shuram. Open up. Seek help. Take control. Take action.